welcome to our show, Wild News. I'm Roberta Perez, but I am here with the ITN for 2012. And I have here with me Nick Willett. He's from TN4 as well. Hello, nice to have you here today. Hello, Roberta. Nice to meet you. So, uh, I'm with TN4 release some frameworks during these shows. I'd like you to comment a little bit about them. Sure. So, frameworks is our main suite of standards and best practices that have been around for several years, and it's become very much the standard for the industry in terms of improving operational agility and automation. So, Frameworks 12.5 that we released this week is our biggest ever release. It's got 60 new features included, covering all kinds of different purposes, including customer experience management and digital services. One other thing we also brought out this week is the results of our Frameworks Adoption Survey, which is looking at how widely Frameworks is used and updated in the industry. And we're seeing rapid growth up to 72% of operators now mandating frameworks in their RFP. So really taking off and becoming very much industry standard. And uh, I think the big theme from this, uh, this week's show was uh, how carriers can go to digital service to improve and to get new uh, revenues. Uh, how, uh, what uh, TM Forum has worked with that in that direction and what TM Forum has uh, advised carriers? So we've uh, been looking at digital services for about a year now. Back in May, we made a commitment to our members who are seeing the imperative of digital services in the face of declining traditional revenues to so embrace digital services and break down some of the barriers to what we can enterprise great services. So services that go beyond these consumer services we have today into life critical and mission critical services. So our digital services program we launched back in October is looking at how to manage that end to end to take care of services that are through multiple parties and multiple different partners. And just today, uh, we've announced a new initiative as part of that, a new Open Digital Economy Steering Group that's going to help to bring together some of the largest operators and the largest vendors in the community together to uh, tackle those problems. In this environment, in this segment, uh, what are the main challenges for both from carriers, point of view, and vendors? Well, I think the main challenge for everybody is speaking up to the moment. We're in a market that's really not very much in a land trap mode. We see big internet companies grow up in just 10 years faster than anybody has seen growth before now. And for operators and established vendors, the rules are changing very, very rapidly. So cloud is changing the rules of the game. For operators out there, they have to try and learn ways to be extremely innovative and also get products to market fast. And that's how Team 4 helps in bringing that industry together to understand those challenges and identify common solutions and do things in a best practice way. So who, who, is the time to market, are you mean? Yeah, the time to market is absolutely key because uh, whilst there's definitely the technological innovation right there and to make experience and competency to do that, the fact remains if you can't get to market faster, the market's moved on and we're seeing such a fast pace market at the moment. So time to market is key, scalability is key, and keeping it profitable as well at the same time through automation. There are a lot of areas uh, on which carriers could talk, such as a machine to machine, e health, even providing call service. Is there any particular that you think carriers will adopt or launch a service first? Communication service providers have a role to play in almost every digital service. At the end of the day, they're all based on the connectivity we as an industry provide. But when we talk about some of the services you're mentioning, they're very much dependent on high grade, high quality, and to end delivery of the services. So, the network is no longer just a point on which the data flows you want to know a lot about that data, you know how fast you prioritize it, how important it is, how it's built for. So the mashup of the application and the network becomes absolutely critical. So there's a big role to play just in that productivity layer. But if we go up to another layer, we're talking about companies here who are very established with trusted brands that live in the world have already existing good relationships with governments, with security practices and so on. So they're very well placed if they move quickly enough to take a piece of those services. Thank you very much for this interview. Thank you very much. Follow us at arshawiras.com.